Hey guys, so I hope you're all well. I am going to be doing a slightly different video today. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial of the way I do my makeup in autumn, so sort of autumnal kind of makeup look. So yeah, this is the look I'm going to be creating. If you like it, then carry on watching and I'll see you at the end. So first I'm just going to use a concealer, I don't know if you can see that, and just put it over my eyes and any spots I have, and I have loads of little spots randomly appearing, but that's okay, we can deal with those. So I'm just going to mudge that in or rub it in whatever you want to call it I sparkle um and it basically looks like that it's just in white going to coat that all over this eye and I'm going to do the same with the other eye I'm then going to take this little box thing I got for Christmas, one year, and I'm going to be using this one right here. It's oh, it's like a goldy, shimmery colour. I don't know. Um, just any sort of shimmery colour. I'm just using this little brush that I got out of my gloss box. So I'm just going to use that and put that all over the lid of my eye. I'm just going to put this one to your fire. I'm just going to go back and add some of this to the lid to make it not as sort of bright because I want the lips to be the main attention focus point. So I'm literally just going to use this brush again and blend two shadows together so 
like that. Not good when you've got powder in your eye. That's not so great. I'm now done with eyeshadow and I am going to add a tiny little bit of um, eyeliner to tops here. My eyelid, should I say. So, see how this goes. I'm not very good at doing this. So. There's always one. Always one. So I'm just going to correct that. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the this one because um, I've just removed it. I'm now going to add the number 7 Lash Impact Mascara. I will also add the Scandal Eyes Mascara. By, this one's by Rimmel London. Um, I just love the two together. So, yeah. I don't really know how to put mascara on, so I sort of just blink and hope it works. I don't know. I am also going to add the um, liquid eyeliner that I added to the top of my eye to my bottom eye. So the water line, basically. This is going to be fun. I know this looks really messy, so I'm just going to take your bud. I'm just Literally, just wipe the axis away. 
I'm just going to take my BB cream. Um, I don't wear foundation. All I wear is this BB cream because I don't like the texture of foundations. And this is just so much nicer on my skin. And I feel that it actually gives me good cover. So I'm just going to put some of this on. So I'm going to. She says. A little bit on my hand. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, contouring brush. Um, I don't use the brushes for the bright purposes, but I don't really care to be honest. So I'm just going to I'm going to do my eyebrows. My eyebrow I don't really do a lot to my eyebrows. I just fill them in with my eyebrow pencil. Can you call it then? We won't start. We start. <laughs> so yep. Yeah. Okay, so my eyebrows ain't perfect, so I'm just going to leave them as they are, because otherwise I'm going to make them worse. Next, I'm going to go on and add my blusher. I've just got the NUA blusher in Lolly, which is just this. As you can see, it's my favourite one, so I'm just literally going to put some on the brush. So I'm just going to add my Stay Matte Powder with my foundation brush, Real Techniques foundation brush. As I said, I don't use them for the purpose, so I'm just going to get a bit on here. And I'm just going to... Over basically everywhere where I put my BB cream. Now I'm going to do the lips, and I either, depending on how I feel, I'll either have this sort of dark autumnal browny plummy colour on my lips, or I'll go for this. Okay, this is a bit damaged, I've just dropped it on the floor. This red. This like dark ready colour. So I'm going to show you both options. And yeah. So the first colour I'm going to put on my lips is this brown plummy colour. Um, I haven't got a pencil liner so what I'm going to do is use my angled eye brush to just sort of outline my lips and do it that way
Now what you could do is you can either leave it like this or you can just go over it with the lipstick to make it more intense. So that is what I'm going to do now. So this is the final look. This is the final look with the brighter, sort of darker lip, which is this red. So everything else is the same, it's just I've switched up the lips. Okay guys, if you like that video please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you Monday. Bye guys!